What's up with it, man? We're back again with another GTA 5 video, guys. On this one, we'll be chopping it with just a couple of things just to find out um, what we're going to be getting as far as weapons and everything. But for most guys, make sure you guys do do me a favor and hit those likes, subscribe to the channel, and do turn post locations on as well. That's the only way that you catch me live, catch my videos at any point in time. And if you're in the Discord, you definitely got another form of notifications as well. If this is your first time catching up on videos or you know catching up on what's going on or what's in the uh, los santos drug wars dlc well here it is there's now experience improvements that have been happening as far as your gameplay experience uh there's a contact that can be hidden from the phone do a phone contact favorites option in your action menu all agatha bacon casinos the sword missions and diamond casino stuff cannot be launched with one player only which is pretty cool then the bicycles can be requested from the mechanic then there's reduced time taking for like all these new purchase vehicles to be delivered, which is a little faster now, but they still kind of park far away from us. Uh, the height op option in each map blip option category was reintroduced again, and then the players no longer need to complete house uh, or house intro base to access HSW upgrade service and mods and stuff like that. So that's just from, uh, from ones that we see there. But now speaking about weapons, we have the WM29 here. It is a pistol. It's pretty cool. Um, there's a few things that, you know, people might not really like about it, but there's, I mean, it's just a pistol that was just, you know, put in the game. And this is, I mean, it, this attachments, deliveries and stuff like that. And um, it, I mean, it's just a weapon, guys, really. Everyone like, is really happy about this weapon. You know, it's cool though, that we have new weapons coming in every time, but a little peewee looking pistol is, is ain't gonna make a difference with the whole crowd of you know a super aim body npcs that we keep getting popped off now which is kind of insane then we have the super crazy real gun that rocks games finally put out after so many years they want to just introduce it but they want to kind of minimize the bullet size i think it's gonna be like one to like charge a bullet whatever and then they want to do it again so they're going to give us like two at a time because if they keep giving us like three six nine fifteen be careful we're gonna have a blast with everything else um but anyways this candy cane weapon if you didn't watch the last video you definitely have to watch it because i will show you how to get the candy cane weapon for free so holla at me also if you guys can see you know you, you can actually like Kind of like fix up your weapon and stuff like that. And, and you know, if you go to the shop or whatever it is, or the contract, you know, property, you can do it from there. But as you can see, there's 20 in a charge. And obviously there's not, you know, it's it's, it's like a, a five second delay or something like that. Anyways, but this weapon truck van, let me tell you about this real quick. So this weapon truck or weapon van came from the Ballad of Tony. You obviously, the downloadable uh, content we did receive back then, they had like eight new weapons that were introduced with like existing weapons that was introduced from like Armando's Gunman and the underground gun shops that the, you know, various places were spawning points throughout the city and stuff. But the weapons could only be like bought from, you know, Armando or spawned at some other area. So we'll be talking about that um, on the next video for sure. But I do want to get into this whole gun van video on the next one so for sure on that so this picture right here will let you know that the acid lab holds 160 units of stock in the capacity so per unit is 1495 equipment upgrades 2000 and the full stock is 237,600 without upgrades full stock is six hours to four hours per unit is two minutes so it goes from there so acid production boost is the same time as daily objective exotic exports reset boost produces 80 units of acid twice the speed and uh i actually will tell you with no upgrade it'll give you a different option there with the time frame definitely now so you know if you want to tune into that you can always like you know just make sure you know what how much you get paid and all but guys if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you drop a like subscribe to the channel new turn post notifications on and let me know what y'all think in the comment section if you want to, you know, know some more information about the, uh, you know, the cat cane and weapon for free and stuff like that, or whatever it is, let me know in the comment section as well. See you then. It's your P1 signing out.